Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes, and on today's Child Seat Review segment, we're taking a look at the 2015 Lincoln MKC. Now, the MKC was designed to compete with the likes of the BMW X3, the Volvo XC60, the Mercedes GLK, and the Lexus NX. The key takeaway here is that the MKC is larger than the Audi Q3 or the BMW X1, which is that next size category down. It's also larger than a Mercedes-Benz GLA. The first step to installing a child seat properly in the back is to move the front seat as far forward as possible. That's because you want to give a rearward facing child seat especially the maximum amount of room that you can. So I'm going to move this seat until I have about an inch of room between my knee and the dashboard. I'm going to adjust the seat back in a relatively upright position. As I expected, things are a little bit compact back here. The Graco Classic Ride 50 child seat, which I use, is a very average sized seat. That means it's a little bit smaller than some, but a little bit larger than others. Some people have asked if I install the child seat at the same angle in every vehicle, and I always do. I always use the level that's built into the child seat to tell me whether or not the seat is installed at the right angle. This one is installed at the right angle, and I don't have enough clearance between the front seat and the child seat for safe operation. You do want about one to two inches between the front seat and the child seat, because in the event of a rear end collision, the front seat can move a decent amount rearwards, and you don't want it to impact the child seat. If you need to put a child seat like this behind a six foot tall person up front, you're gonna to wanna to really look at the next size category up, which would be Lincoln's MKX, the Lexus RX, the Cadillac SRX, etc. This Lincoln is related to the Ford Escape, and as such, you may expect the rear seat to be a little bit cramped. However, Lincoln actually made the MKC wider than the Ford Escape, and that's really important when it comes to child seats in the back, because we can more easily fit three of these average sized child seats in the back seat, and it's definitely tighter in the Escape. Compared to the rest of the competition out there, we have a decent amount of room in the back, a little bit more than you'll find in the Volvo XC60, right about the same as you'll find in the Lexus NX or the BMW X3. One thing worth noting is that the center child seat is actually sitting in the center of the rear bench seat. It's not skewed to one side or the other. That makes installing multiple child seats an awful lot easier. In terms of anchors, we have latch anchors for the outboard seating positions and top tether anchors for all three. Looking at the spec sheet, you'll notice that the MKC is a little bit shorter than some of the competition. And that does translate to a little bit less cargo area right here in the back than you'll find in the X3 or the XC60. That means that it is a little bit trickier to insert bags and child seats in the back at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bags from the cargo area first, then we'll see what kind of room we have left. Even though we have a fairly high belt line in this vehicle, the cargo cover is a little bit low. And that means that these Gronko Classic Ride child seats have difficulties fitting right under them. However, you can make it fit if you really push hard. Now things are a little bit tight back here, but I was able to fit one 24 inch roller bag and these child seats in the back and still close that cargo cover right over the top of them. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the 2015 Lincoln MKC. Be sure and check out my channel for the full review on this vehicle coming up very soon. You can also check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash alexnautos, over at Twitter as alexnautos, and you can always email your questions to alex at alexnautos.com. I'll see you next week.